Well, good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to Coffee and Devotions. This is where every day you and I, we get together, we have a little bit of... Um, nothing. Nothing. Daniel's looking at the screen. Have a little bit of coffee. You want some of my coffee? Um, it was it. Oh, it's cool. You want to try some coffee? Mm -hmm. Oh, hot dog. There you go. Get some hair on your chest. Oh, don't drink all my coffee. <laughs> we have a little bit of coffee. We pray, we get into God's word, and we grow in our love for the Lord together. And this year, 2024, Lord willing, we'll make it from we'll make it through the books of Numbers, Deuteronomy, and Hebrews. That's right. Uh, so we already did coffee and devotions this morning with all the kids, and I messed up the audio. My fault, entirely my fault. But we're gonna do it again. Dan Dan said he'd come in here and do it with me. So let's have some coffee. We'll pray, and we'll get into God's word. Oh, we're knocking around that microphone today. Let's try not to do that. All right, let's pray. Father, we thank you so much for this day. What a blessing it is to get to read your word. We pray that you would please help us to read it and understand it and apply it to our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, let me grab my Bible here. Grab my Bible. Whoop. And we'll get into God's word. Yep, squish, squished. And Moses and Aaron... And all the leaders of the congregation numbered the sons of the Kohathites by their families and by their father's house, from 30 years old and above, even to 50 years old, everyone who entered the service for work in the tabernacle of meeting. And those who were numbered by their families were 2,750. Those who were the sons who were numbered of their families of the Kohathites, all who might serve in the tabernacle of meeting, whom Moses and Aaron numbered according to the commandments of the Lord by the hand of Moses. So who's numbered there? Um, aunt, um, aunt, yeah. aunt Levites. Yeah, so we're numbering the Levites, and the first family is the Kohathites. It's oh. Kohathites, that's right. Okay, now we're going to read about the Gershonites, okay? Gershonites. That's right. And those who were numbered of the sons of Gershon by their families and by their father's house, from 30 years old and above, even to 50 years old, every one who entered the service for work in the tabernacle of meeting, those who were numbered by their families, by their father's house, were 2,630. These are the sons who were numbered of the families of the sons of Gershon, all who might serve in the tabernacle of meeting, whom Moses and Aaron numbered according to the commandment of the Lord. So this is the Gershonites. And would you be old enough to be numbered? Yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe. No, maybe, you're not 30. Maybe. You're not 30. I'm dead. I'm 30 years old. <laughs> yeah, 30 to 50 years old, okay? All right, here we go. Now we're going to talk about the sons of Merari. Those are the families of the sons of Merari who were numbered by their families, by their father's house, from 30 years old and above, even to, how many years old do you think? Oh, 40 something. Nope, 50. 50. <laughs> 50 years old. Everyone who. Yeah, almost close. Yep, almost close. <laughs> Everyone who entered the service of, for work in the tabernacle of meeting, those who were numbered by their families, were 3,200. These are the ones who were numbered of the families of the sons of Merari, whom Moses and Aaron numbered according to the word of the Lord by the hand of Moses. All right, so we have all three families. Now we're going to add the three numbers together, okay? Yeah. That would make a bunch. Yeah, a bunch is accurate, right? But we we have a, a better total, right? All who were numbered of the Levites, whom Moses, Aaron, and the leaders of Israel numbered by their families and by their father's houses, from 30 years old and above, even to 50 years old, everyone who came to do the work of the service of the work of the bearing burdens in the temple of meeting, those who were numbered were... 8,580. And guess what? The math works out. If you add 2,750 plus 2,630 plus 3,200, you get 8,580. 8,580? 8, 8, yeah, they knew how to do math back then, too. Oh. Yeah, and That's... can can you read verse 49? That's a lot of math. Okay, you don't need to keep moving the, the microphone, okay? All right, you go ahead and read verse 49. Um, 
according to the command commandment of the Lord they were numbered by the hand of Moses each according to his service and according to his task. Yes, the war. No, thus. 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 Mm-hmm. War. They numbered by him as the Lord commanded Moses. Dude, give me five. You're doing way better with reading. I'm proud of you. All right. So they did just as God had commanded. Is that a good thing? Yeah. Yeah. But so I bet the others. So you walk out of here and you talk to your mama and she says, so what did you learn in the Bible? What would you tell her? I learned that there was a lot of people. There were a lot of people. And I wanted to be in there. You wanted to be in there? Well, do you think you're in God's family now? Yeah. Do you, oh, let's leave that alone. Do you think that God knows you? Yeah. Yeah. Do you think that if you were one of God's 100 sheep, and you start walking in a weird direction, you can leave him alone. Wandering away, do you think he would come and find you? I bet he would. Well, for that. Let's not do that. It makes a lot of noise. Yeah. That's right. He would go and he would find you, wouldn't he? Because does the Lord number his people? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let's go ahead and pray. You ready? Lord, we thank you so much that you are mindful of us. You count every hair on your on our head and you know every one of your sheep. Lord, we pray that you would teach us to trust you more and more. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, may God bless you. May you walk in the joy and peace that comes from knowing that your good shepherd knows you and he cares for you. Bye! <laughs> Bye. Thanks for listening to this week's message from God's Word for You, a ministry of Sharon R.P. Church in rural southeast Iowa. We pray that the message would be used by God to transform your faith in your life this week. If you'd like to get more information about us, feel free to go to the website, SharonRPC.org. We'd love to invite you to worship with us. Our worship time is 10 a.m. every Sunday at 25204 160th Avenue, Morning Sun, Iowa, 52640. May God richly bless you this week.